baby ya sorry e wo bebe ni anwia so be kwai abato wo mpesua so o masamu yetietietia de omo ka nyina ne se wo matetetete se orura bia didindi afet oben ya nani agina na se nani abre no person ko gina e priest akonwa ne bie no e wo atisi se vetting committee for bad disqualify no e to mu gina so abokokose se committee mpenufo ni nim na so disqualify wo ura ne yi ni free mu dia ene ye besi besi Calculated to again make Mr. Alfred Obey Boateng look bad in the eyes of the right thinking members of society and the people who are managing the party at the national head office, all with the sole aim of getting him disqualified. The false information set I brought up here was headed current development in the BBNE and Ransom Pekoi constituency after the primary threats. Among the false claims he peddled are outlined below. Prior to the fighting, Mr. Alfred Obim Boateng was heard severally on radio attacking the chiefs, especially chiefs from the Syrian Rialso and the quite traditional area, and some chiefs in the Trani traditional area for no apparent reasons. Information I have gathered has it that Mr. Alfred Obim Boateng claims that chiefs have been praising the member of parliament, Honorable Kisli Abadijedu, for the developmental project of the constituency. The people, Mr. Obim passed to the fighting grounds upon their return were insulting the chiefs and publicly were insulting the chiefs publicly and that has annoyed most of them they have therefore planned of petitioning the president and the leader and the party leaders to drop him or in the unlikelihood that he wins the primary they will ban him from campaigning on the land in fact the issue is so serious that if immediate action is not taken it will adversely affect the fortunes of the party in the constituency two Another intelligence indicates that the leadership of the NDC in the constituency had a secret meeting last Sunday, and issues they raised and discussed include, they included that Mr. Fred Obim Boateng has never done his national service, but claims to have done so. To them, if he has any national service certificate, they consider it as fake, which is criminal. Another information gathered indicates that Mr. Fred Obim Boateng thinks the party, and for that matter, the president gave him a raw deal by sacking him as a CEO for post, and he has vowed to commit resources to make sure the MPP loses both the presidential and parliamentary seat in the BBNI and Rasu Bekwai constituency. In effect, all his activities and actions are firm to that. For instance, on Saturday, 7, 19 October 2019, he attacked the government's decision of setting up some of the decentralized departments to other desperate capitals instead of a regional capital as needless or reasonable at the program in Sicily also.